bragging. Trump just kicked their asses out. America first. President Trump is about to stomp a big American boot into illegal immigration. It's America first. Time for people to come to America legally and for Americans to realize that we all need to follow the law. No one in our country is above the law, especially immigrants who refuse to obey the laws of our land. How would they like it if we broke into their country, milked their welfare system, and commit crimes? It wouldn't be allowed, right? That's why President Trump's administration is fighting to end special protections for Salvadoran immigrants. If this all goes through, then prepare for a riot. There might be some crazy activity coming from illegal immigrants if they're running scared from ICE in the next year or so. Trump's announcement is sure to cause a tsunami on social media, but that's okay because this is the right thing to do. The official report is that Trump's team is going to end any and all special protections for the Salvadoran immigrants. This could likely force up to 200,000 people to leave the country or face being deported. Before leftists get all antsy about this, they should know there's one major stipulation to it. The immigrants who are being forced to leave will have until September of 2019 to go home, or they'll have to change their immigration status. That means Salvadoran immigrants have two options, get legal, or get out. Leftists will spin this as a racist, hateful move on the immigrants who were previously given special protections, but it's not racist, it's just making everyone follow the laws. This is another America first tactic being followed through by the first president in nine years to love our country. President Trump isn't forcing people to leave America. He's forcing them to follow the law. If Salvadorans would rather leave than do some paperwork to change their immigration status and become legal immigrants, residents, then that is their essential choice. Trump is saying that everyone is welcome to stay, but please become legal citizens and get your paperwork done. If they refuse to do that in the almost two years they are given, then face deportation. If Trump gave them two weeks, then maybe that's a bit harsh. However, Trump's administration will give Salvadoran immigrants until September 2019, and that is plenty of time. Fox News reports. The Trump administration is ending special protections for Salvadoran immigrants, forcing nearly 200,000 to leave the country or face deportation, officials said Monday. El Salvador is the fourth country whose citizens have lost temporary protected status under President Donald Trump, and they have been, by far, the largest beneficiaries of the program, which provides humanitarian relief for foreigners whose countries are hit with natural disasters or other strife. Two U.S. officials discussed the decision on condition of anonymity with the Associated Press because they were not authorized to speak publicly ahead of the announcement. One official said Salvadorans will have until September 2019 to leave the country or adjust their legal status. Homeland Security Secretary Kirst Jen Nielsen's decision, while not surprising, will send shivers through parts of Washington, Los Angeles, New York, Houston and other metropolitan areas that are home to large numbers of Salvadorans, who have enjoyed special protection since earthquakes struck the Central American country in 2001. Many have established deep roots in the U.S., starting families and businesses over decades. Since 2001? They've been here under government protection for about 17 years and still haven't become a legal citizen? Perhaps the reason they didn't follow through with illegal immigration was that of earthquake relief protection program they were part of, now it's time to get paperwork updated. There's nothing wrong with that. Just get it done and that's all that's needed. It also represents a serious challenge for El Salvador a country of 6.2 million people whose economy depends on remittances from wage earners in the U.S. over the last decade, growing numbers of Salvadorans, many coming as families or unaccompanied children, have entered the United States illegally through Mexico, fleeing violence and poverty. In September 2016, the Obama administration extended protections for 18 months saying El Salvador suffered lingering harm from the 2001 earthquakes that killed more than 1,000 people and was temporarily unable to absorb such a large number of people. Homeland Security Secretary Kirst Jen Nielsen faced a Monday deadline to decide whether to grant another extension. September 2019 is plenty of time for people to file paperwork.
The challenge will be if the government can properly and successful process the amount of paperwork by the time September 2019 arrives. I would suggest that government allows all people who filed for the legal immigration paperwork, if that's what they must do, on time to be provided with an extension until their paperwork is processed and completed. That's a fair solution. El Salvador President Salvador Sanchez Cern spoke by phone Friday with Nielsen to renew his plea to extend status for 190,000 Salvadorans and allow more time for Congress to deliver a long-term fix for them to stay in the U.S. It has already been a long-term fix if people were here since 2001. That's almost 17 years. It's time for all immigrants to be legal. The fix might be part of negotiations that include DACA or the border wall along the line of Mexico and the U.S. Time will tell as talks continue, and more official reports are relayed to us through national news outlets. The United States created the Temporary Protected Status in 1990 to give victims of natural disasters a place to live temporarily. Almost 440,000 people are living under this status, but many of them have already figured out how to become a legal immigrant citizen of America. Expect pushback from the left while Trump's administration makes things right, things right.